everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna be unboxing my Sephora haul. This is basically everything that I ordered from the VIP spring sale. Um, I know I'm a little late to unbox this thing. I actually still have it in the box and everything. I haven't even go through everything yet because I was extremely, extremely busy taking my finals from university. So I apologize that this video is very late and I also skipped the video from previous week. Basically this video was supposed to be uploaded last week, not this one. Also, today is my birthday. So if you wanna celebrate with me and you wanna give me the best, best birthday present that you could possibly give me, smash that like button. Let's just start with the makeup. I have here makeup, skincare and hair care. So let's just start with the makeup. I love it, this is so beautiful. All of these things, only one thing is new, like new in the market. Everything else is things that I was waiting for this sale to get. So the first thing that I got was this Charlotte Tilbury. This is the flawless filter and I got mine in the shade three. I took forever to buy this brother right here, but I was so scared to get it because I was like, oh my God, Charlotte Tilbury. Sometimes it's not that good. I mean, I'm talking about specifically, I'm talking about the foundation. I didn't like the foundation whatsoever. So I was like, what do I feel like it? So many people have said this is such a good product that I was like, okay, let me buy it. Let me see it. I've been like, ooh, it's an adult. Like, how cool is this? Look at that. That is a beautiful glow. Like, people say it looks so beautiful. Like, I can't wait to use this. Super pretty. Ta da! Hourglass. I picked up, finally, I picked up the Hourglass um concealer this actually the name of this one is hourglass airbrush concealer and i picked mine in which shade cotton i picked mine in the shade cotton oh my lord let's see and it has this kind of like regular tear shade let me see oh this is a beautiful color this is a beautiful beautiful color for me like i really like that color I'm gonna blend it with my fingers. It's super, super full cover. Wow. Very, very blurry. Ooh, that's a super, super full cover concealer right there. It's right here. Super, super pretty though. Ooh, I am excited to use this product. Like, ooh. Ooh, that might be a really good product to compete with the Pamagraph concealer, which I love. Super happy that I finally got this one. I was kind of like in the fence to get it. So I was like, okay, should I get it? Should I not? Should I get it? Should I not? But I finally got it. So I'm very, very happy. These three products from Fenty, I already made a review of them. So if you are interested in seeing my opinions about them, go ahead and watch the video here in the eye. And we're talking about the cream blushes and the cream bronzer. So I have my cream bronzer in the shade Buddha Biscuit and it's this shade right here is very beautiful very very beautiful it's perfect for my skin the blush is on the shade Colberry, which is this one right here it's super super pretty and i had the other one in rose latte i think i remember that name very well <laughs> rose latte so again if you want to see my opinion about these three products go ahead and watch the video that i have right here in the eye icon the third product that is brand brand new here in my haul besides the two Fenty products, is this one by Milk. And this is their brand new eyebrow product. Let me see, I haven't seen it. This is the Kush Triple Brush Pen Crayon. I got mine in the shade Dosh. Wow, it's three lines. Kind of like made three lines if you go soft, and then if you go hard, it kind of like make one big line so i don't really like that much the color it looks a little too cold for me um but i will have to use it and see how i feel about it all right so from the eyebrows we're gonna go to the lashes and i have two products for the lashes the first one is this one by mark jacobs this is basically a primer for the lashes so i was like okay i'm intrigued show it to me let me see it i want to see an action so right here we have it this is the first time i see it i never even look at it at the store i was very curious because i heard so many people saying that it's good so i definitely have to come back to you and let you know what i think about this product but it's basically like it has the same shape of a regular mascara it's kind of like this pinkish color 
you know what it feels like? It feels like a little bit of eye primer, maybe a little stickier. I don't know. Let's see, hopefully it works. I have heard so many good things about it, so I'm very excited to start using that guy. The mascara that I picked up is this one by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm very intrigued. A lot of people have said that they like it, so I was like, okay, let me pick it up, even though I try not to really buy anything from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't know, hopefully the Anastasia Beverly Hills and the Norvina situation get straight up by very good numbers. Like they don't, they're not gonna do what they did last summer. I know what you did last summer, Anastasia Beverly Hills. It was horrible. <laughs> Anyways, let's not enter in controversy. That's not what we're here for. We are here for this thing. It's super, super heavy. The component is extremely heavy. One of the things that got my attention from this mascara, besides that a lot of people say that they like it, is that it is very similar packaging of the Fenty. Like, tell me if you don't think this is very, very similar. Like, not exactly like the same, but they are very, very similar. They could be sisters, you know what I'm saying? Um, the packaging of the Anastasia Beverly Hills is definitely heavier. It feels more luxure, more like, wow, ba -ba boom, ba -ba boom, bam, bam. <laughs> Where that came from, I don't know. But it feels so much like heavy and more mm, sophisticated, let's say it. I don't know, besides compared to the Fenty one. It just looks more lux, you know, but that doesn't really matter. What it matters is actually the performance. I really like the one of the Fenty one, actually. But anyways, let's look at the Fenty one. It's a little chunky. It's very, very similar to the, um, I want to say, Better Than Sess mascara. Yeah, it's kind of like that kind of concept of one. Let's see. Maybe I like it. I will try it without the Marc Jacobs and with the Marc Jacobs so let's see how it comes it's actually very heavy you can actually cause some damage with this this is dangerous and from the brows and the eyes we're gonna jump into the cheeks and I am so excited I am really excited about this product this is one of the products that I was like I want it I want it I want it no matter what if I have to remove things from my car because it's too much I will, but I, I'm getting this guy right here. And this is an art blush. This is the liquid blush. And this is in the shade Orgasm. I don't have, I don't think I have the original powder form of it, but now we have here the liquid form. Let me see, it has a little pump. I love it, I love it already. Ooh, you need a little bit. Like, don't do what I did. One pump was out of this. Oh my god that color is amazing this is so beautiful like a lot of people love the formula and the pigment of the nars orgasm one in powder form <laughs> i'm so impressed by it i'm like i'm, I'm like ah, ah, ah. but this guy definitely i'm gonna be using it tomorrow oh my god it's so beautiful like So happy. The last makeup item is this one by Urban Decay, the All Nighter Ultra Matte Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. Let me tell you, I have the original one. It doesn't smell the best, but I but it works. I have the original one, original one. One time I went to Sephora and I don't remember what exactly I was trying. I think it was the Bi Beauty foundation because I wanted to match myself and everything. So I think I got the color and I was like, okay, this looks pretty good. I don't want it to just get ruined it very fast if it's not like a good foundation i wasn't sure if the foundation was good by the way that buy foundation is super super good but i was like okay so if it's something that's gonna help me to hold my makeup it's gonna be an urban decay setting spray so i was like i went to the urban decay side of the store and it was a girl there i was like grabbing the regular one she's like do you have oily skin? I was like, yeah. I mean, my skin is combo. She's like, I, you try the new one, the ultimate matte? I was like, no, try it. I put it on. Oh my God. My foundation lasted like 12 hours. I was like, is the foundation or is the setting spray? And then later I found out it was a combination of both. The foundation lasts very good time, but the setting spray made it last like wow like double i was like wow 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 definitely if you have combo skin like mine you need this guy and 
you need this guy <laughs> all right my friends let's do now a skincare and the first item that I want to show you is this Tasha this is the Tasha very famous skin Kisu lip mask. I don't know how you say that. Kisu, kisu. I don't know how you say that, but this is the Japanese peach lip jelly. And I heard so many good things about this guy right here that I was like, okay, okay, okay. I had 20 of them. I have the Linage one, but okay, okay, just give me the. Give me, give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. And here it is. I was like, okay. Actually, it's very pretty. <laughs> See, I don't remember seeing in the store. I was trying to kind of like avoid the situation, you know, because like, I was kind of like, I might like it too much. Like right now, I want the Farsali one. You see, it's like everything that is lips, it catches my attention so, so much. Maybe because mm, look at these beautiful lips. I don't know. Maybe it could be that. <laughs> but I really like everything that is for lips. And this guy caught my attention so many times. And after hearing so many people loving this thing, I was like, okay, let me get it. Let me get it. There's no way to keep avoiding it. So I got that guy right there. And I also got, this is basically my sunscreen. This sunscreen is by Supergood. I use this one and it's almost empty. This is the Unscented Sunscreen 40. Um, they released a new size for it, a little bigger. So I was like, yes, give it to me. Cause this guy lasts me like 40 days. Um, I still have a little bit, so I would guess it will last me another 10 days or so. So I was like, yes, give me a bigger one. I will be so much happier if I can have this guy in a bigger size. It's kind of like a primy looking. So you see it's transparent. It's very, very good. And it feels like a primer. It feels like a, I don't know, like a Smashbox primer, something like that. That's how it feels like. It's very, very, you can expand it very well. And again, you can use it as a primer actually. So you will be saving some money there and a step. But as an actually sunscreen, I really, really like it. The next two products are by Peter Thomas Roth. One of them, a lot of people are being saying that it's really, really good and it's very, very nice. And it's this one that is basically a bundle with a bunch of masks from them. We have here the Cucumber Gel. This is basically a hydration mask. Then we have the water drench. This is basically a hydrating moisturizer. And we have a purifying black mask. I'm about to break a nail, so let me just show it to you right here. This is a 24 gold mask. This is a pumpkin and sign mask. A lot of people really like this one and the cucumber. And we also have here a rose steam cell. This is a repair gel mask. So all of this looks very, very good. I'm very excited about these two right here, the cucumber and the pumpkin because I heard so many good things about it. I don't really use that much a purifying black mask because I don't know, I don't really like that idea too much. Um, my skin gets very dry. It's very sensitive, actually. My skin is, uh, is combo, but it gets very sensitive when I try to not do things that are hydrating to it, like trying to suck the like out of it my skin suffers a lot so i don't know if i'm gonna use that one i might just give it a try to let you know if how intense it is maybe my skin likes it i don't know but then i also pick up this retinol pet type serum this is again for the same brand thomas uh peter's road i'm definitely gonna let you know what i think about this product i heard so so many good things about it so i'm definitely definitely excited to try it and see if it works basically it helps to reduce the look of fine lines and wrinkles with intense living in or anti-aging treatment so it helps to renew your skin faster basically and it's time for the hair products the first one this one you have seen me hold it before i actually used one entirely already i have one that is half in my bathroom so i decided to get another one because before the next vip sale i'm gonna be in need of one this is the Brioyo scalp revival this is a charcoal plus coconut oil microfilating shampoo this helps you to exfoliate your scalp and make sure that your skull is fresh and clean and it promotes the growth of your hair and make your hair stand stronger and all that good stuff because your scalp is clean and fresh also if you use this you will have you will start noticing that you don't need to wash your hair as often which is good for your hair I know a lot of girls out there have a very oily skin so they also have very oily skull and believe me, I'm one of those and I can go longer every time that I use this product. I use this like around once or twice a week. Most likely I use it once a week. Um, and I notice that I can 
go longer without washing my hair. My hair is very grateful. I think my hair is liking that situation because it holds more time the really good nurturing oils that it comes out of my scalp. Any Uzi, Brioche is a very, very good brand. So keep that in mind. I really like Olaplets, but I still have a couple of products from Olaplets because the last two years I've been buying only Olaplets. And I want to give a break to my hair from that brand and give it another twist to it because it's getting used to it. And every time that your hair start getting used to a brand, you need to just give it a break use another one and then go back if you really like it. But then I decided to give you a try to pre -audio. I never really use their shampoos besides this guy right here. Um, but I heard so many good things about this. The only problem with this is that my husband doesn't like coconut oil smell. So I'm not sure if he's gonna hate the smell of this and hopefully it's not an issue. It's not, a, it's not the case, but if it is then I don't know what I'm gonna do because normally these kind of products leave a lot of smell into your hair. I don't know if that's gonna be the issue. I'm not gonna open it yet because I'm not ready to use it, but I'm gonna be start using it maybe in a month or so. This is the Briojo Be Gentle Kind Banana Coconut Nursing Super Shampoo and the Conditioner. This is a bundle and I'm very excited that I got it because I heard so many good things about it. And I got two more products from Briojo. This is the Scott Rebel Charcoal plus D3 scalp treatment. This is basically a scalp treatment. And let's show it to you. It's really, this one right here, this is brand new for me too. So I would definitely let you know what I think about this. But I heard that it's really, really good for people who had dandruff because I'm getting a lot of dry spots and a lot of flakiness. So I hope this helped me with that. For that same reason, I also picked up the cold press 100% castor oil by Brioyo. The name of it is Be Well. This would definitely be more for like um, hydrating my scalp and also to help and promote the growth of my hair. Um, I know a lot of you think I have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful hair and I think everybody, even if they have beautiful hair, they still want it to be better. And also, again, my hair is no stray or even wavy. My hair is curly. So all this is training that I've been doing for all this year have put a lot of stress to my hair. And I've been looking into a little bald spots here and there. And also the dry patches, I think is making things not go well. So. I am switching things around and see if that helps. I might cut my hair too. So let's see what happens. The last product, it is this guy right here. I love it because it is a hybrid. And I really like hybrid products because sometimes I'm using oils for my body and then I forget and I do this. And I was like, oh, that is not good for my hair because it's too thick. But this one right here by Awa, Aqua, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Don't, don't be mad at me, please. Uh, this is the rose hair and boreal oil. I definitely want to just start this right now and see how it feels. Mm, it's very liquidy. Mm. I don't know what it smells like, but uh, I can tell you, but I can tell you, I can tell you, I like the consistency already. Mmm. I like it. This is this is going to be one of my favorite things. And I picked up these two nail polishes. This is a top coat. This is by the brand Nicin. And I picked up a nail polish by the brand Just Kind of Bliss. They are a duo. But this is the top coat. It says that it's really good for your nails. It made them strong and all that. This is gonna be more for my feet because as you know, I have a video. I'm doing my gel nails myself. And I actually enjoy the process. It takes me for like, it takes me like three hours, to be honest. I'm gonna put the video right here if you wanna see how I did these nails. And it took me a lot of time, but I actually find it very enjoyable. I pay like 80 bucks to do my nails. And when my mom is here, multiply that number. So my mom is very crafty. She actually knows how to do nails. And I kinda like picked up very crafty things from her. But my point is, I'm gonna be doing my nails from now. So thank you to the C guy, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna be doing my nails from now and I'm gonna be saving tons and tons of money. I actually want to keep doing things in my house. So I'm gonna save all that money. 
And also when my mom is back, when my mom comes from vacation, for vacation, I'm gonna be doing her nails, she's gonna be doing my nails and we're gonna keep saving more money. So anyways, the point is this one right here, this top coat is gonna be for my pedicure. And we have here these two very, very beautiful color. This is very like a very nice light nude color. And this one is like a darkish, reddish, orangey, kind of like a maroon. I don't know what color is this, but it looks very interesting for the feet. And a pizza with 500 points, a pizza this all a place, power do to go. I really wanna try this guy right here. So between changing my routine from Good Miracles to Thomas Pure Road, I'm gonna be using this just to see how it works because I might use this brand afterwards. Peter Thomas Roll, if you guys like it. This is the Ola Harrison, obviously. And this is the Good Night Glow Retin-A Sleep Cream. I heard so, so many good things about this and I'm so happy that I can get a little sample from Sephora with my 500 points. I also got this Glow Style Retinol Power Serum. So I'm definitely gonna be using this guy, especially this one right here. Again, this is my birthday. Today is my birthday. I want you to give me the best birthday present that you can possibly give me, which is giving a like to this video. If you are here, that means that you watch entire video. So I want you to comment down below how old you think I'm turning. How old you think I'm turning? Let me know down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. Put the bell and put all, all the notifications for YouTube to notify you every time that I make a new video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.